It's my feel good breakfast show. And a very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and we're sitting out right now with our next guest who's about to give us a whole lot of inspiration to help you be your best version. Now, her name is Lauren Wallet, and she's got a new book called Human Doing. It's currently being released in bookstores and she's here to give us an insight and tell us how exactly we can go about that. Lauren, welcome to Expresso. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. So have you, have you done away with the term human being and it's all about human doing now? I feel that human doing is an evolved state of human being and if mm. you're going to become the best version of yourself, the best way to do that is through thinking of yourself as a human doing. Yeah. So you once had aspirations of being a presenter. You were, in fact, one of the finalists. Yes, on I was. Search. Congratulations on that. Thanks so much. What inspired you to go into book writing? So I did writing before I did anything, before I was performing, before I was an entrepreneur, I was a writer. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I was five years old, my mother was a scribe for me and wrote a trilogy of books. So before I could even, you know, physically write, she, I had these stories in my head and she would write them down for me and I would yeah. draw the pictures. So I'd mm -hmm. say at the heart of me, I'm definitely a writer first and foremost. Okay. So if you had to summarize the most imp important messages that you want your readers to get out of reading this book, what would that be? So human doing is ultimately about authenticity and it's about what you do reflects who you are. So I feel that in this our one and only life, we have an obligation to become the truest version of ourselves. And if you take the guidance from this book, it's about becoming very conscious of the choices you're making. And once you do that, you can make very intentional doings. Yeah. Yeah. Take me through a practical example. I mean, we've most of us have just woken up now, had our first cup of coffee, sitting with a <laughs> bowl of cereal. What do you do every morning when you wake up that ensures that you are in that right kind of mindset, in that right kind of gear to pursue your best self? So one of the most important fundamentals of the book is about being in alignment. And this means becoming aware of your thoughts and your feelings and your actions. Thoughts, feelings, actions. That's right, so that's yes. In, so that, in that order. In thoughts that channel. Brrr, so okay, the thoughts cool. in your head go through the feelings in your heart and are expressed as the actions in your body. And when all those three components are working <clears> together, <throat> your life is kind of in flow. And that's when you can make really conscious choices. The mm -hmm. problem is though that often we think one thing but we feel another and then our actions are diverted and things get a little bit messy. Which is not a problem, but if you want your life to go in a certain direction, the more in alignment you get, the easier things are. Why does that happen? Why do you think one thing and feel another? Why do you think that happens? I think a lot of people are very trapped by the idea that they need to be something or, you know, they should fit in somehow and they're not really comfortable with all elements of themselves. They want to hide or maybe they want to emulate other people or, or they're distracted. And this is going, it doesn't matter who you are inside the most important thing you can do is express that. Even if you are a little bit strange or mm -hmm. a little bit unique or different, that's completely okay. Yeah. Now, I've, I've got this thing. When I wake up in the morning, the first words I say is, thank you for waking me up. And I try and do that religiously every single day. What, what do you do? Do you have a mantra that you, that you say to yourself every morning? You look at yourself in the mirror and say, Lauren, yes. I do. I do. Yes. <laughs> what do you my mantra, I'd say, is that my work is the purpose of my life, yeah. which may be a controversial statement, but for me, my work, so everything I do is a creative expression. Mm. And when I keep that in mind, every single moment of the day, I feel that I'm expressing my truth, whether that be at work or in life or with friends, but that's what I feel. I love that's it. Thank you mantra. very, very much for being here, Lauren. Congratulations on the book. It's Thanks called so much. Human Doing, and it is now available in bookstores countrywide. So go out there and get it for your daily inspiration. And in fact, look at yourself in that TV screen right now <laughs> and just say, yes, <laughs> yes. Right now, it's time for the news.